Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're going to get into games for Major League Baseball for this weekend, September the 5th. And the schedule is getting close to the end. And so playoff races are really starting to heat up. And we have some great matchups for you here for this weekend. So let's take a look at a few of them. But before we do, I ask you to join so you'll have access to the z code vip club section right here which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks all right so let's take a look at some of the games here again there's a full slate of action we will take a look at five of the games uh, there's one new york and washington oakland and toronto let's scroll down here a bit before we see our first one here we go the cleveland indians and the boston red sox you see right now both teams are burning hot the Indians are second in the AL Central, and the Red Sox are third in the AL East. The Indians have won their last four games, and the Red Sox have won their last two after losing their previous three. Zach Plesek is scheduled to pitch for the Indians versus Nick Pavetta for the Red Sox. If you look here at the pitcher profit also, you see that both pitchers have been solid bets here at plus $344 for Plesek and plus $244 for Nick Pavetta. You take a look at the power rankings indicators with both teams burn, being burning hot. You would expect upward trend on this graph, and you see that is the case. Cleveland at plus 25 and Boston at plus 16. If you're considering the over and under bet for this game, which we always like to do, let's take a look at the totals predictor. You can see here that Cleveland has been trending in games above the line for a bit of time here now, and Boston is also above the line slightly. So that would indicate betting the overs, but let's see what the scores predictor indicates. If you look at the scores predictor, you see Boston with a 6-5 to five advantage, but only 38% confidence in the prediction. Take a look at that as we get closer to the game. But overall, I do believe that the Indians will, will take this one on the road. This is kind of maybe a little bit of an upset, but I really do think the Indians will win this one. And But I would bet over, I believe it will be a high-scoring game. Detroit and Cincinnati. Minnesota and Tampa Bay, Philadelphia and Miami. The Phillies are hot right now, but we're not really going to take a look at that one. The White Sox and the Royals. Here we go. Here's a very good NL Central matchup. The St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers come in 10 games out in front in the Central and a commanding 12.5 game lead over the Cardinals. You see both teams are average at the moment. Uh, Cardinals right here, you can see... Won their last game, 2-2 two two over their last four, 4-2 four over their last six. The Brewers are coming off of a loss, and they are 4-2 over their last six. John Lester is scheduled to pitch for the Cardinals, and Corbin Burns set to take the mound for the Brewers. If you take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see here that both pitchers have been a you know, moderately profitable bet here at plus $150 for Lester and plus $81 for Burns. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see here that Milwaukee is near the top here at plus 29. And the Cardinals, after trailing off, they went up in a little bit of an upward climb. And now they have remained steady over the last uh, couple of days here. They are at plus 21. If you consider the over and under bet, see here that the Cardinals are trending in games considerably under the line. And Milwaukee even farther under the line here. So right now, that indicates a good uh, time to bet the under. But let's take a look here at the scores predictor. You see here Milwaukee, a 7-4 to four advantage with a 51% confidence in prediction. I'm going to go along with both of these. I believe that Milwaukee will win the game and cover and bet the under. Pittsburgh and Chicago, Atlanta and Colorado. And Atlanta, Colorado is the next one we want to look at. The Braves are trying to hold off the Phillies in the National League East, while the Rockies are in fourth way out in the National League West. Neither team has been playing particularly well lately. You see the Braves and the Rockies are both ice cold up. The Braves are coming off a three-game losing streak. They did win their last one. They are 2-4 and four over the last six. And the Rockies are also... If I can get this to come up properly for me. Uh, yeah. There we go. The Rockies are also 2-4 and four over their last six games, and they are coming off a loss. Charlie Morton is scheduled to pitch for the Braves. He is 12-5 and five with a 3.52 ERA, and Austin Gomber is scheduled to pitch for the Rockies. 
He is 9-9 and with a 4.53 ERA. If you take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, though, neither pitcher has been a good bet. See, both are in the red at minus $460 for Morton and minus $274 for Gomber. So neither pitcher has been a good bet at all. If you're taking a look at the totals predictor, we will see here that the Braves are trending in games considerably under the line, way under the line, as it laid, minus 8 points. And Colorado also under the line uh, ever since August the 14th. So that's a really good indication to bet the under. So let's see what the uh, scores predictor shows. Uh, the scores predictor shows Atlanta at a 10 to 5 margin of win, which would not be under. That would, that would be an over the line. 51% confidence in prediction. Take a look as we get closer to this uh, prediction, confidence in prediction, and the score. If this remains high with a higher confidence, I would avoid the over-under. If it goes down or the confidence in prediction is low, then I would go under the line. And I do think the Braves will come away with the win. The Rangers and the Angels. Astros and the Padres. Here's a good matchup. The Astros right now are on top of the American League West, and the Padres are third in the National League West. Both teams are averaged down at the moment. Neither playing particularly well. As of late, you see that uh, Houston has lost three out of their last four and three and three over their last six. The Padres have, are coming off a loss of their own. And overall, they have lost three out of their last six. Luis Garcia is scheduled to pitch for the Astros. He is 10-6 and six with a 3.23 ERA. While Chris Paddock is 7-6 and six with a 4.98 ERA for the Padres. The pitcher profit oscillator shows that both pitchers have been solid bets, so at plus $272 for Garcia and plus $186 for Paddock. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that, very strange here, as you can see that San Diego was all the way down at the bottom at zero just a couple days ago. They have jumped up to plus 17 in one day just from that one win. And Houston was at plus 27 and they are now at plus 18 after that one loss. The totals predictor indicates the following. Let's take a look. Houston is trending in games under the line. San Diego trending in games under the line as well. It's a good indication to bet the under. Let's take a look at the scores predictor. This is a real good indication to bet the under. Look at this. Houston predicted to win by a 4-2 margin with a relatively good confidence of 63%. If this remains the case, definitely bet the under and Houston the much better team will come away with the win. Now, the game of the day. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Francisco Giants. These two teams are deadlocked on top in the America, uh, excuse me, in the National League West. The Dodgers are burning hot at the moment. The Giants are ice cold up. So far, the Giants have not named their starting pitcher. Um, but the Dodgers have named Walker Boiler for the, uh, to take the hill. In this matchup, he is 13 and 2 with a 2.05 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, even though he has a great record and great ERA, he's only been a moderately profitable bet at plus $87. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you will see here once it comes up. There we go. The Dodgers are at plus 24, and the Padres, you know, up as high as plus 27, just you know, about a week ago, they've been on a completely downward spiral. They're at plus two. And you can see here over the last, I, I said the Padres, I meant the Giants, excuse me. Slip of the tongue, same division. Okay, the Giants uh, are only two and four over their last six. You can see that they are just coming off a four-game losing streak with a win over Milwaukee. And the Dodgers here have won their last three, it looks like. Yes, their last three and four out of their last five and four out of their last six. Take a look at the totals predictor. You can see here under the line trend for the Dodgers and considerably further under the line as of late, minus eight points. And the Giants also considerably under the line. This should be a great indication to bet the under, but let's see what the scores predictor shows. The scores predictor, eh, not, not as much, uh, depending on what the line is. Right now, it's giving the Dodgers a 10 to 2 margin of win with a 48 percent confidence. I do believe the Dodgers will win. I don't think it's going to be by this uh, wide of a margin. So that's why I believe that betting the under is going to be a wise choice. And again, this is only 48 percent level of confidence in the prediction. So this probably will change. If it doesn't change, obviously 
don't even go with this because 48%, you know, less than the toss of a coin. I think the Dodgers will win rather easily, but I don't think it will be by that wide of a margin. So pick the Dodgers to win and go with the under. So there you have it. Those are the games here for Sunday, September the 5th. Enjoy the ball games. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.